Hey guys, it's me, Echo Craft again. Um, so I'm doing a quick unboxing uh, of the Beringa. Uh, it's the Eurorack Pro. I'm looking down at the box here, sorry. Uh, Eurorack Pro RX 1602, version two. Um, so basically, uh, this is a line mixer. Um, and I bought it because I bought a new rack, uh, which you can't see, but I will show that in another video. Um, I got rid of the BARP 2600, um, put it away. Um, I won't be using that uh, for a long, I haven't been using it actually. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I could sell it, I might keep it, I don't know. But yeah, uh, I have way too much stuff and yeah so i'm gonna try to cut back on buying things i know i've said that in the past um only because things are getting cluttered in here uh and it's getting silly buying stuff and unboxing it and doing videos on that so i am going to be and i mentioned in the past that i will be doing a new project uh the new project um is going to be called three machine that is the new name that I'm going to be running a, a, a project with. Uh, and it's uh, it's going to be on my record label, uh, Locker 13 Records. But yeah, so, you know, here we go. I'm, I'm going to start just doing music. Um, if there's an unboxing video, sure, I'm going to do that. But it's getting a little bit expensive and it's getting a little bit silly with just keep buying stuff and doing unboxing videos. So I hope to keep my following I know people uh, follow me and like my unboxing videos. Um, maybe I'll do some tutorials on some other gear, but right now, um, you know, with the economy the way it is and stuff, I'm getting a little tapped money-wise, and I just, I just can't keep up with that. So, without further ado, let's get right to the unboxing video of the Behringer or Beringa uh, Eurorack 1602. Pro. So this is a little unboxing video. Um, I decided to purchase this. This is a Eurorack Pro RX 1602 professional multi-purpose 16 input ultra low noise line mixer. That's a mouthful, huh? All right by Behringer, of course, or Behringa. Um, and uh, I'm gonna open this up. It's a quick unboxing video. And the reason why I bought this is because I'm gonna be able to plug all my stereo units into my stereo keyboards and stuff into this little guy right here. And I, I did some research on it. This is the version two. That's what they said it was, version two. The version two has, uh, oh yeah, power cable. Nice power cable too. Um, the version two uh, has, I, I think better, I wanna say better preamps or something in it or whatever it is, I don't know. But anyway, I bought this and uh, let's see, oh, there's the manual. Emmanuel, right here. A quick guide, all right, well. Not much of those quick guides, you know, there's, there's, there's little setup things, they, they don't really go in detail with them. And here I go again, trying to open stuff because I suck at it. Um, so the other day I purchased a new rack. I got rid of my old rack. I actually boxed up the BARP, uh, the ARP 2600. Um, I wasn't using it. And uh, yeah, I decided to put it away. I'm not gonna sell it or anything. I don't think I am, I don't know. But, you know, I put stuff away. So let's take a look at this. Um, so we have main outputs here, right? We have a mono output here for a send. So that is for if you want to have um, an effects, like an echo, delay, whatever, a multi-effects unit. Um, then we have our dB switches here. We've got 4 and 10, minus 10 dB, um, which is pretty cool. So, but we have stereo inputs. Now... It'll do mono and then it does balanced left and right, uh, balanced right. So I'm, I'm used, I'm curious about that. Um, and then on the front panel, we have, now what I like about these knobs is they're not, they're notched. So they're not, um, I guess you gotta be kind of precise with the way you want them. 
Uh, but this is the mono effects. We have balance left and right. The, the buttons actually, the knobs feel really good, I should say. Uh, we have a clip button and also a mute button on the front, which is nice. And then there's your level here. Uh, and it's one through 16. So you can have 16 mono inputs if you wanted to. Um, and then we have the main volume here. Oh no, sorry, this is for the headphones. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, so we have segmented uh, LEDs, nice power. You know, Behringer does that nice recess power button. Um, and then we have, um, this is the mono effects mix, mix, I guess. I don't know, it says two phones. I'm gonna have to read the manual on this. So main left and right, so you can hard pan and things like that. And, and I just thought that was interesting. So yeah, so there it is. Uh, I haven't, you know, I, I did some research on it. There were a couple of people that actually um, said that it was uh, done, it was really well, it was done really well, it's really quiet. And I like that, I like that a lot actually. And um, I, I, I have uh, several Behringer mixes in the past, but I like line mixers because there's nothing on them. There's no uh, treble, bass, mid-range, anything. I control all that through my DAW. So um, yeah, so here we go. We're gonna try this out, put it in the rack. What I like about it too, it's this light form factor. Um, it's supposed to be really quiet and I'm very excited about this. So yeah, so there it is. And once I get it in the rack, I'll do a little demo of it and stuff. And uh, yeah, should be pretty cool. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace. All right, there you have it. The Eurorack Pro RX 1602 by Balinga, version two. Yeah, uh, just did a little unboxing video there for you. Um, I hope you still connect with me and stay with me on my channel. Um, again, I won't be doing many more unboxing videos, uh, at least for a long time. Um, who knows? You never know with me. Um, but I'd like to do some more demos of stuff that I have bought. Um, and uh, yeah, so I hope you stick with me. Please like and subscribe. And always stay frosty and creative, guys. All right? Peace out.